It was so thrilling to see this child get excited about seeing herself in the story. And it was clear to me that this was something that she did not experience very often, if at all. Let me tell you a story. As I was teaching a class in Iowa, surrounded by what looked like the United Nations in my classroom, one of the little girls that sat in front of me all of a sudden sat up as I was reading a story by Patricia Palaka called Chicken Sunday. She got so excited, she began to point toward the book and she kept saying, that's me, that's me. And I'm looking at the story and I'm looking at this child and I know that's not a picture of her, but I could not get her to settle down. And finally I said, okay, okay, you're right, that's you. And that event stayed with me. And after I got home, I began to understand what had happened at that moment and how important it was to the work I was trying to do. That little girl wanted so once, so much to see herself on the pages of that story that she decided that she was the person irregardless of the fact that that picture was of someone totally different. And so I decided that it would become my mission to incorporate many more stories where children of all diverse backgrounds would be able to see themselves as well as their experiences, to be able to connect to those stories as that little girl so desperately wanted to do as I was reading to her. It's important that we are visible. It's important that we are recognized. It's important that we are acknowledged as being worthy to be a part of the school experience.